Hi everybody. So today in GCSE Biology, we're going to be looking at answering the question, what is a pathogen? Well, a pathogen is a microorganism that causes disease. And this is the definition that you're going to want to learn for your exam. So it's a microorganism, so a very small organism that causes disease. Now, these microorganisms will go into an animal or a plant, into a host, um, when they infect them and they will replicate themselves within that host. So they'll make copies of themselves and those copies will go on to infect other plants and other animals and that cycle continues. So what are some examples of pathogens? Well, bacteria firstly can be pathogens. So this could be things like E. coli, which you can get from contaminated water um, or um, salmonella, which you can get from poorly prepared food. Um, viruses are also pathogens. Now these aren't cells like bacteria, they're little particles, um, but they can still infect a host and they still replicate inside them. So viruses can be things like the common cold or flu, which are transmitted um, by airborne droplets, little droplets of water in the air. But can also be things like um, HIV, which is transmitted by sexual contact. Um, then the third type um, of pathogen that you need to know about is these things called protists. And you might not have heard of that term before, um, but an example of a protist would be malaria, which is a, again a single-celled organism that is transmitted by mosquitoes. And we call those mosquitoes that transmit the malaria protist, we call them vectors. Um, then we also have fungi. So we know fungi, um, we eat them as mushrooms, but they can also be pathogens of plants and also animals. So in humans, we can get athlete's foot, which is caused by fungi. So I hope this has given you some good examples of um, different types of pathogens and how they're transmitted. Um, but also I think the key takeaway from today is that definition for what a pathogen is. So it's a microorganism that causes disease because that's what the examiners are going to want to hear from you.